Let's write a C program to convert user entered values for red, green, blue to print publishing color formats specified by colors cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Well RGB has integer scale from 0 to 255 whereas CMYK has real scale from 0, 0.0 to 1.0. So this is the basic. So we calculate these colors using some formula. First we need to calculate white, the color white. Whichever is maximum among these three will get stored in white that is red divided by 255 or green divided by 255 or blue divided by 255 whichever is great is stored inside white. So cyan is equal to white minus red divided by 255 whole divided by white. Okay similarly magenta, similarly yellow and black black is equal to 1 minus white so we use this formula one more thing if rgb is 0 cmyk is 0 0 0 and 1 we need to check for this condition too so with these formulas and with this condition let's get started with our c program so i'll take floating point variables red green and blue that is rgb so i'll take I'll take white, cyan, magenta, yellow and black, k for black and another floating point variable max. Okay, So I'll ask the user to input the values for red, green, blue. Also know that its scale, its range is integer scale from 0 to 255 don't forget this okay so we need to enter that user need to enter between 0 to 255 only for rgb values now let me store that user entered values inside variables address of variables red green and blue from here it's very simple we just need to use the formula and some conditions I explained you previously so the condition is if red is equal to 0 and green is equal to 0 and blue is equal to 0 when all these three variables colors are 0 then cyan must be 0 magenta must be 0 yellow must be 0 so I'll write cyan is equal to magenta is equal to yellow is equal to zero whereas black should be one hope you remember the condition I told you previously so else in that case so let me reduce this red is equal to red divided by 255 I'll store this inside these variables directly green is equal to green divided by 255 will be using red green blue directly instead of red divided by 255 green divided by 255 blue divided by 255 in the formula so i am preparing it right now so we have this uh, so max is equal to i'll assume max is red okay now i'll check if the value present inside green is greater than whatever is present inside the variable max if that's true i'll transfer the value of green to uh, variable max another condition if whatever is present inside the variable blue is greater than the value present inside max then again I'll transfer the value present inside variable blue to variable max so ultimately max will have whichever the the greatest value present inside green, red green and blue now I'll assign that value to variable white now let me use the formula and calculate the color cyan cyan is equal to white minus red divided by 25 but uh, red divided by 255 but we have already evaluated that and stored inside the variable red so i'll directly use the variable red white minus red whole divided by white so magenta is equal to white divided by sorry magenta is equal to white minus green 
whole divided by white. So LO is equal to white minus blue whole divided by white. Okay, so we got CMY. Now black is equal to 1 minus white. So we converted RGB value to CMYK. Let us print that out to the console window. So I'll just write CMYK is equal to inside the brackets I'll write percentage F percentage F comma percentage F comma percentage F all these are floating point variables that's why I'm using percentage F now it's present inside the variables cyan magenta yellow and black okay let's save this file and compile it and execute it i'll give red value as 250 maximum value is 255 i'll be giving 250 green as 50 and blue as 255 okay so cmyk value is displayed on your computer screen i have verified it using some online tools so it, the result is correct so please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.